Hey everyone, I wanted to share a couple quick tips with you when it comes to people asking what it is that you do. Now for me, when I first started with Isogenics, it was it became this weird thing. Like when people would ask me what I do, it's like I would freeze up and I'm like, oh, I do this thing and it's this cleanse and it's this online website and it's this whole th wholesale product and you can get it for $29 and it's got these great ingredients and like Shilaji and it was just like this <laughs> verbal vomit isogenics. Um, and it made no sense <laughs> to people whatsoever. And so over, over, the, over time, I started to learn um, how to say it more gracefully and how to make it not as awkward and to really be proud of being a part of isogenics and being a part of network marketing so here are some ideas of what you guys can say um you know we sell nutritional superfoods this is one of um my favorite things that pk smith one of my mentors has taught me and you know when someone asks oh well like what is that or what what do they do um the next question to follow is not, again, don't go back into the isogenics verbal vomit of the ingredients and the cleanse and this and that and blah, blah, blah. But we have stuff for healthy aging and then we have, you know, we've got these awesome e-shops for, for energy and then we've got this great stuff for athletes. And then if there's this business side of things that you could earn money just by like sharing it with a few people, right? Like, <laughs> don't do that. So the next thing to transition into, okay, well, we sell nutritional superfoods or one of my favorite things to say is I have an online health food store and, um, you know, when people, oh, well, what do they do or what do you have? It's like, well, what do you want them to do? You know, we've got over 70 products, so I don't need to necessarily tell you about all of them, but what are you looking for in your health? Or if you could transform anything in your health, um, what would what would you choose to transform first? Because I'm sure we've got a product for it. And so you can kind of transition into that kind of stuff. Um, or another thing, when people start to ask, oh, well, what do you do? Or what are you involved in? Um, maybe you have a, another business. Maybe you have your full-time job. Because again, 80% of people in network marketing, um, their network marketing business is their side hustle. So I just want to reassure you guys that if you love what you do, or if you are in your nine to five or your job or whatever that might be, that's good. Um, and you are with the majority of people that have it as that side business. Um, so if you, you know, if you're understanding um, that side of things and people ask you, well, you know, I'm a personal trainer or I work at this place or I do nails or I do hair or I'm a mom or whatever it might be, um, you can then transition and say, but what I'm really excited about is this business that I started. It's a family business and, um, you know, it's an online health food store and you, you know, what do you do? And then you transition back to them. Um, another thing just to say is I'm in network marketing and don't make it weird. A lot of people, the, the perception of network marketing is changing because people really understand the value of what it means to be able to work from our phones and to be able to have a business that's online and to be able to, you know, have the, have, have it all, you know, to be a mom and to have a business or to be a family or to be a young person to travel and to still have a business and whatever that might mean for you or for the person that you're working with. Um, so just some ideas on what to say and how to start to share it. Um, another thing that people start to, as I'm describing what isogenics is, I say, well, if you think about, you know, if you have you purchased something from Amazon? Yes, most people, like, I feel like I have either isogenics or Amazon showing up at my house every day. Um, <laughs> most people have purchased something from Amazon, so they understand, okay, it's online shopping. So what I say is I combine Amazon and Costco and iTunes. So it's similar to that. So what it looks like is, you know, it's people that can shop for wholesale food online. And then I also teach people how to do the same thing and how to have their own online store and what that looks like is that's more where the iTunes things come in and so if you think about an artist who records a song and they upload it onto iTunes as people continue to purchase that that song the 
the artist continues to get royalties from that song. And so as my customers continue to purchase products or as I help others start their own online health food store, um, all of that works into, um, into royalties. And so I get to be playing with my son and know that my customers and my team are being healthy and helping others and we get paid for it. And I have the opportunity of, you know, going to Mexico for five weeks and doing some work by the pool and adventuring into the ruins or into the cenotes and playing with my son in the water and being with my husband at dinner and connecting with a new person, maybe helping them get started. Cause we all know that if you're at an all inclusive resort in Mexico, you're going to need a cleanse afterwards. Right. And so, um, so it's really is about serving others. It's really is um, such an incredible opportunity. So I hope that these ideas, these, this verbiage has given you some good ideas to not make it awkward to not do the isogenics verbal vomit um, and just to kind of give you some languaging because it doesn't have to be awkward um, it does take a little bit of practice it does take failing forward um, it does take if you have to practice in the mirror or maybe you record yourself um, you know other leaders um, they you know, they like to say, I like to help people get financially fit, you know, and, or um, excuse me, help their bodies be fit and help their wallets be financially fit as well. So there are just some languaging and some things like that that you can do. Um, so yeah, I just, I hope that this helps clear out some of the junk and some of the awkwardness that can go on in our brain when it comes to when people ask what it is that you do or what you're excited about. And I hope that you can apply it and practice it and that it helps your business grow. So thanks for listening, you guys.